So in this video, we're going to be using Great American Pastels Midnight. This is a very bluey, so this was used for the background, very bluey gray, very bluey. And in the reference photo on screen, you can see it's very bluey looking background. Dorian is a gray with almost a little blue, but not quite. It's kind of a pure gray, but not quite. Anyway, Dorian is great for the body of the owl. For the eyes, we used Solil. So at the bottom of the eye where it's lighter, I used Solil uh, 574. And then when we got the intense part, I got Solil 570.0. So the eyes have that intense, bright look. So let's grab our Dorian and do some painting. So I'll put the reference photo on screen, and we're going to get the lighter color Dorian. We're going to do Dorian 224. This is a lighter color, and the reason we do that is because it's sort of a lighter tone right here. So we just get a little bit in there. This is a super, super soft pastel. So you barely touch it, and it makes a mark even though you can't see it. So now we're going to do Dorian 223. And we're going to come back in the same area and just sort of make a little bit of mark. So a little bit of fur texture right there. And that will sort of replicate what we have on screen. Now, as we go down, you'll see it's darker. So now we're going to get 220.2. And we're going to just check it out. I'm just going to see how dark it is. And that's nice. That's nice. Dark. Just going to get the corner. Again, you can use whatever brand you like. I'm just using Great American because I bought a bunch of them. All right, so now you have that dark, dark corner. And now we're going to sort of get that. Now we're going to get a lighter 220.3. It's lighter at the bottom, and we're just going to sort of sneak in there with that. And then right here as well, just going to sort of make a little bit of a mark. And then it gets lighter, so we're going to get 220.4. And then we're going to come in here with that lightness. You can barely see it because it sort of matches the paper. But that's where I want to be on that. There we go. So that's good. All right. So I like it. I like it. I'm going to get the midnight. I'm going to get the midnight, that bluey, just so I have something interesting in there. It's almost like there's just something... There's something weird in there, but I don't know what it is. And that little, little bluey, little bluey mark right there. A little bit. Not an overkill, but a little bit. So you now have that unusual mark in there. So you try, your eye is trying to figure out what's going on. And now, of course, we get our finger and we push it in. And we do that because we don't want a bunch of pastel falling off when we give this to somebody. So we're going to sell this. And I don't want a bunch of pastel falling off in transit, so I'm just going to mash it in. You see how smooth that looks? Now we're going to come back with the pencil, and then we're going to we're going to make that smooth that out. Right here, we have this darker area. I'm going to get the Dorian 220.2, and we're going to get the darker area right beside where this white is, right there. And you get sort of that darker area right before that. And then we got a bunch of white up here. So we'll take care of that in a minute. All right, now I'm going to go down here and start with this bottom dark area. Now that's really dark. So we're going to get Dorian 220.1 and get that super dark area. So we have white, a little dark, and then we have white. And let's skip over the white area and get to the dark. So the dark's sort of right here. With that dark right there. All right. So now we have a white area above the dark. And now I want a little more dark right there, right above that white area. That looks good. And now we got like a mid-gray in between there. All right, now I want this white area up here. And... Uh, We've done white here, so I'm just gonna grab a new pastel stick, basically. This is not new pastel, but it's like whatever. So this is not a fully white area. It's sort of a grayish. I'm making a mistake here. Let me get a light gray stick. Again, this can be new pastel. It can be whatever. So I got that light gray, not really white. And then I got a gap. And then I got a little bit 
of this white gray and it sort of comes up here. And again, I have the dark area and a little bit of a gap with the white area there. All right, now we have the, just the white area that sort of comes up there. So I've sort of overextended myself, unfortunately, here. That is more white than gray. So I'm going to get my white. And again, I overextended myself, but that's okay. We're just going to get this white and sort of move it out. Nobody's, nobody's keeping score here. Nobody's keeping score. All right, so that's good. Now we have this dark area and a little bit of the white. We're not going to press really lightly. And a little bit of that white, press lightly. And then we got the gray above it. So now we're going to grab Dorian. And I want to get the 220.3 and flip it over. All right, now I want to get in here, and I got that area there. I just want to sort of touch it a little bit like that. There you go. Sort of ease up on it. Just ease up a little bit. In between here, we got like an easy, easy going gray there. Nice and easy. There we go. A little gray there. That doesn't look like the picture, but okay, whatever. We got a little gray there, just for fun. And as we come up, we got a little darker gray up here. So we're going to get Dorian and just sort of ease up in there. The direction of the fur there. There we go. So it's nice and light right there. Now again, we're going to mash it in and blend it. Then after we blend it, it's got that blurred look to it. It's got that blurred look to it. Now it looks good. So now we're going to come in with our pencils. And again, you don't need a big pencil set. We just have two pencils. So let's get our colored pencil. And let's go through here and start making some of these shadow marks. So right through here, got like a little bit of shadow. And again, these are sharpened to just a razor point, man. Just get that marked in. And then up here, we got a little bit of a mark there. Just go in the direction of the fur. We have a little mark here. And then as we come up again, we have a more of a mark. Sort of a little bit there. And then a little bit here. You don't want just one slathered area, right? So let's come down here to this area. We got, you know, a little bit here and there. Just sort of make random lines, right? And we come up, we're going to do the same thing here. But this is mostly white. We're going to make it really light. And then over here, we're going to make it a little darker right there. So press on a little more. Press lightly for gray. Press hard for dark. All right, now we got the hairs. So now we're going to get our white pencil. And we're just going to sort of push. Again, we're going to push. We're going to push and sort of make these marks. like that. So we'll have a longer push for that and we'll have a hair that sort of comes out like that. And then we got, you know, sort of like that. And then that sort of extends at the side right here. But on the side we have this light gray, this pretty, pretty light gray right here. And again, we're going to use this for the gray. We're totally going to cheat. I'm going to press super light and get like this light gray. It's sort of a mid-tone gray and it's darker down here, so I press a little harder. And up here, it's a little darker. And then up there, it's sort of a light gray. So we're gonna let the pastels do our work for us. And then it's gonna come up with this light grayish, a little darker gray. There we go. And then over here, we got the same thing. We got this gray coming across. And again, we're just lightly, lightly gonna press here and get that gray tone to come up. And again, just this light gray. Barely going to touch the surface and just let this do the work for us. Like that. As it comes up, that super, super gray, pretty gray. There we go. So we got the gray from the high-end pastel. Now we got these little tick marks right here. Now I'm going to pull, like I said not to do, but whatever. We've got these little tick marks of white. So we're going to get this. I'm just going to lightly push. 
and get the tick marks. And up here we got harder hairs. We're going to push a little harder. So we're going to switch here and we're going to push instead of pull. And we're going to make these marks like that. So there we go. So now we're now we're uh, going awesome here. So it comes up here and we got that dark right there. So this gray that we have right here is a little darker down at the bottom. So again, just the edge is going to make it a little darker. Not much. You don't want it to just slap you in the face. Like just assault you in the face. And then we got like this at the at the bottom here. We got like this little, we got like a, I mean a black, right? Comes up. And then it goes down. And then it skips. And we got a little black mark. So the direction of the fur. And we got the same thing down here. We got like this little black right there. Black mark. And then it's pretty dark, like right here. It's dark. So I want to sort of replicate that. There we go. Doesn't look exactly like the picture, but that falls under whatever, man. So now we got a little bit of that white. We're just going to sort of lightly push. Get a little bit of variance down here in this white. I don't want it all to be the same. A little bit of a variance. There we go. Just push, lightly push. Like that. And come up into the dark like that. All right, so that looks real. That looks nice. We got a lot of big hairs here. We'll take care of that in a minute. For right now, I want to go to this area, and I want to get in this super, we got like a light white. So I'm going to get my white stick. Again, you can use New Pastel. You can use Jero. I just want a white. And again, I'm using higher-end pastel just want these hairs up here but I'm putting in this because the hairs are bigger the hairs are bigger so I'm getting a little bit of the stick again the more you can use a high quality stick for big areas the better your painting is going to look if you use pencil for this it's going to not look as good just my two cents my opinion just my opinion now we're going to get 220 dot two and I'm going to come in here for this large large darker area here go in the direction of the fur you can use schminky you can use sinelier or how do you pronounce it you can use whatever you want to use man I'm using great American because I'm an American and it wasn't too expensive it was actually cheap well cheap relatively cheap whatever compared to others. And then I want a little bit of the dark here. And I know I want more dark here. And then we got that dark here, etc. That looks pretty good. Again, press it in. Get a nice blend. A nice blend. And the same with the white. So again, here we have this white area that I did with pastel stick. So you got the pastel stick gives you the hair feel, feel. So you notice I'm not using any pastel pencils, pastel stick. So now we're going to come up out of that. We're going to come up out of that and to get this hair. Now we have these big hair marks here. We're going to make them, you know, sort of ran, not random, but sort of random. The direction of the fur, obviously, still. So. We come up like that. That looks terrible. We come up like that. And then up here. And again, we're pushing. Take it easy on our hands. Now we have these random tick marks over here. Not long hair, it's just tick marks. So we're going to get that in there. And as we come up, we got more marks. So that looks realistic, right? Now again, we're going to come in with our black colored pencil. And we're going to make our shadows. So we have shadows here. And I want to sort of accentuate those shadows. There we go. Look at that. That looks nice. Accentuate the shadows. And over here, we have like a little bit of a shadow. So I'm going the direction of the hair. And just sort of coming up and sneaking in there. 
sort of sneaking in there. There you go. A little bit of that shadow there. A little bit of the shadow. And again, sort of a shadow here and maybe one there. I like it. I like it a lot. Doesn't look exactly like the picture, but whatever. All right. And then in between here, again, we have a little more of a dark, that darker feel. So I'm going to make sure and get a little of that darker feel in there and bring it up a little bit. Bring it up so it's not like a square. Same thing here. Bring that down. Again, lighter. So now that looks like realistic hair to me. That looks great. And again, I want to make this darker because in the picture it's fairly dark. We have darker sections. It's not one big dark blob, but it's like hairs like that. There we go. And then we can, you know, accentuate this a little bit. Uh, you see at the top here it's a little whiter. So we're going to get our white stick, and we're just barely going to sneak in a little bit of a hint of white down there. Like that. You're just sort of sneaking that in. I mean, you don't press hard. Here, you press a little harder because it's a little whiter. So we blend the expensive pastel stick with the cheapo colored pencil. So you push it in. That looks legit. That looks legit. Anyway, that's how you do realistic hair on an owl or an animal. So you have that, that very furry look. Uh, you didn't spend a ton of money and you used a minimal set of tools. So that's pretty much how you do it in velour. Again, velour is a different type of paper than other papers, but uh, I just wanted to sort of show you realistic hairs on an owl. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.